Well, he made it, so it's great to be having a chat now with Mayor of Selwyn, um, Calvin Kaye. Thank you very much, Calvin. I know it's been a bit of a rush for you, but it's lovely to have you here. Now, of course, you are Mayor of the District that was really at the epicentre of this quake on Saturday. Yes, yes, the, the fault line's very close to Rolleston and moves inland from there to the west, so it's, yeah, it's uh, the Highfield Road is the centre of it, uh, appears to be. So how has that whole region fared during this? Well, compared to the regions to the north, we've got off relatively lightly, but we have a lot of individuals who have had just as much devastation to their houses and their businesses as we've seen in the other parts. And, uh, yeah, we had quite a lot of road damage, uh, which that's now all been repaired. Fortunately, our water supplies and sewerage schemes have, with the exception of Rolleston, uh, were undamaged, and Rolleston, I think, is now back operation again. And so we're now focusing on, on the, the people side now. Uh, we have our welfare centres open in Rolleston and Darfield, and I think there's one in Lincoln now, but I haven't checked that this morning. <laughs> And uh, so that's where we're focusing now, trying to get uh, assistance to the people who need it. That's good. How are your people faring, Calvin? Well, we, we're getting quite a few people coming through our welfare centres at the moment. Uh, and it's a whole range of issues. Just want to chat, oh, there's some trauma issues. And there's also just practical information from a, a work and income and, and many other aspects. So any aspects that they're, they're concerned about, pop into our welfare centres or call us on our, our telephone number. So for you being so close to the epicentre on um, Saturday morning, how was it for you? It was pretty terrifying for those mm. first few moments, but uh, our civil defence team was up in operation by six o'clock, so we were all running from then on. Mm. It was gone very smoothly indeed. Haven't the civil defence teams done amazing work here? You must be thrilled with the responses. Look, I'm very proud of the team that put that all together, but remember also, the civil defence starts at home, and we had a lot of people helping each other, neighbours and everything else, and just getting in there, making sure their neighbours and friends were OK and, and helping them with any problems. Just fantastic response. How are farmers going as well? Because I know they've had, they've had a lot of land that's moved, they've had yes. lanes that are now where they didn't used to be and rivers coming through. Yes, it's quite spectacular and of course they've had their problems with the, initially it was uh, dairy sh sheds, milking platforms, the, particularly the rotaries that had come off their roller bearings and had to be put back in place. Mm, at and, that critical hour of course when yes, they're milking. Yes, quite, quite critical to get them back in place quickly and most of those have been uh, put in place within the first couple of days, so most of them are back in action. And of course now we're seeing grain silos that have been uh, damaged and there was other damage in various buildings and machine stuff too out there. So once again for that kind of damage, are they going through the EQC for that? They'll have their own insurance I think for that. There mm -hmm. was a meeting in Darfield last night, a very good meeting, a lot of farmers. Yes, the Darfield good High School hall was packed mm. and uh, they answered a lot of questions. The experts we had there la the last night answered a lot of questions on those issues. Mm, so that's good, just to reassure everyone mm. that things may take some time but they will happen. Mm. So schools, what's happening with schools in your area? We have uh, Southbridge School was open and uh, I think the other schools will be opening on Monday. Uh, we have, uh, from our point of view, our responsibility is to make sure they're structurally sound, uh, that they have water and sewage, and that's all taken care of. Okay, fantastic. Now, I know that uh, you mentioned on your website as well that people may be concerned about money. What's some advice that you can give there? About money? Mm. Uh, if, if the loss of wages, that kind of thing, the government's announced a subsidy for small businesses for, for wages, and I know WINS has some grants and uh, uh, things available as well. I'm not sure of the details, mm, you need mm. to contact them. Sure, and they'll be able to kind of point mm, you in the, mm, in the right, direction. right direction. So what happens from here on in? Obviously people supporting everyone in the welfare centres and then just trying to rebuild. Yes, uh, um, our building inspectors, who we've had uh, 450 something houses that have been asked for assessments mm -hmm. and we've had 30, I think it is somewhere around that figure that have been uh, tagged as being unsafe. So I guess now people need to get on with their own earthquake uh, assessments, insurance assessors, and we can start the job of repairing all of those properties, a lot of them with chimneys falling down, etc. Yes. So there's a lot of repair work to be done out there. Okay, so it's onwards and upwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kelvin, thanks very much. It's lovely of you to pop in, because I know it has been a rushed <laughs> morning for you. Lots of meetings to attend and things like that, yeah. so we do appreciate that. Yeah. And you've got a fantastic website as well. If people do need any further information, there's some really helpful numbers there. It's updated regularly as well, so that people can keep up to date. And I think selwyn.govt.nz. Kelvin, thank, thank you, you very much. I've got some bickies for you, so don't rush away. Thank you. <laughs>